This is Wally. He is a Maltese Shih Tzu and he loves to ride in the car. The only problem is he likes to hang out the window and that's dangerous. So Mutter contacted me to test and review their car seat dog leash. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's a fairly simple design. This side has a clip to attach to a collar. It has a spongy side, so bigger dogs will be able to stretch that out to the full length. The actual length here can be adjusted um, depending on how much room you want to give your dog whenever he's riding. And then down here is just a simple clip that will go directly into the seat belt. Connecting the leash to the seat belt is quite simple. That's it right there. And then it just pops out whenever you're ready to take it out. We live out in the country and Wally is not used to having a leash on, but uh, let's get this attached here and go for a little ride and see what he thinks about this. Okay, I'm gonna buckle up. And now Wally is buckled up as well. Let's take a little ride down the road and see how well he likes this. Now he's used to sticking his head out the window a bit, and so I have to keep it up fairly high. But now he won't be able to get to the window with this length of leash. So we'll see how well he reacts to it here. Okay, so now he is safely in position here. It definitely restricts his movement a lot. He's forced to sit here uh, and not stick his head out the window although I can tell he wants to. For a dog his size, it may be worth having one of these that's just a little bit longer so that he can get closer to the window here. I just ran over a little stick in the road, so now I can step out to get that and Wally will not jump out of the car. So far it looks like uh, he does not care too much about it, one way or the other, but I like it so far. Keeps him in a safe spot and also uh, allows him to enjoy a nice car ride. If you're going to be using this leash with a bigger dog and he's going to be staying in the passenger seat or in the back seat, I imagine this is an ideal length because you don't want them to be able to get out the window any further than just their front paws. Uh, but as far as uh, a small dog walking across like this, I think it would be ideal to have a leash that's just a little bit longer. Now I'm going to adjust the length of the leash to see how well I can get him to stay in this seat only. So I'm just going to make this as short as it can get here and then see how well he stays in position here. As you can see, he is currently on the shortest section of leash and he is still in my lap. Now, uh, my car definitely does not have a very wide console, but um, if you're trying to keep a small dog out of your lap, you have to go with a much smaller size leash than this because uh, he's obviously still here. Now, this would keep him from even getting close to the window, but definitely not keeping him out of my lap. So you'd have to have a, a belt that was at least half this. So we're talking about a foot long. A few closing thoughts here on the Mudder car seat dog leash. I like the buckle. It seems to be uh, easy to snap in and out of the car. Now the length of this one does not really suit Wally that well because it's too short for him to reach out the window and too long to keep him in the side seat. But if you had a larger dog, I think it would be perfect to keep him there in the seat. So uh, do consider the length whenever you're buying one of these. Now the scrunchie uh, is a little bit too strong for Wally here to pull on, 
but for a bigger dog, I think that would be great to give them a little extra pull or uh, they're going to lunge at something out the window to kind of soften their, their uh, lunge there. And the clip seems to be well made and strong. So I like this leash. If you would like to buy one for yourself, there is a link to Amazon down below. And I will see you in the next video.